to head up into the loft before we get into today's video. Let's just go grab it quick. Okay, I think this is what I was looking for. Let's just double check. Ah, there we go. All right, let's head over to the studio. All right, welcome to today's video. I've been asked a lot of times how I go about tuning my snare drum and I thought now was the time to address it. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long. Um, to get to this topic. But what I'm going to do today is walk you through how I tune my snare. Um, it's fairly basic how I go about tuning my snare, but I guess, you know, if you're not used to doing this and if you don't know the answer, um, then it can be a little bit mysterious. So I have grabbed my Tama Starphonic Babinga snare, which I believe is a 14 by 6 shell. And um, I have an Evans UV1 head on the top and just the typical Tama Hazy 300 on the bottom head. And I'm gonna show you through three or four tuning ranges that I go for and just show you like how I go about doing it and uh, the techniques that I've learned along the way. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually check out the bottom head, all right? So we'll flip it around. And what I tend to do is release the strainer so I can actually lift that up, which means, you know, I can actually hear the resonant of the drum without the snare wires interfering. And with the bottom head, I'm looking for a really tight sound. So as you listen, that's fairly tight. The snare's been in the loft for a little bit, so it probably needs a bit of a tune up. So all I'll do is just work my way around the lugs until I hear a nice high pitch. I'll show you how I work as well. So I start on one lug and keep, a, keep an idea of where I started uh, and then move along to the opposite one. Okay, so I've just gone across the drum. I then go two lugs along and then go to the opposite drum. Two lugs along, opposite side of the drum. Two lugs along, opposite side of the drum. Until I've hit back where I meant to, which is here, okay. And let's just have a little listen to that. Now as I'm tapping, I'm hoping that I can hear a nice consistent pitch. So a few of them are out. bit low. I'm just basically tuning up. Okay, so that all sounds really consistent and of course that's going to make sure that um, the, the, the head is seated nicely on the um, shell of the drum. And it's nice and even, that's just what the way I like to go for and I like to crank it quite a lot, this bottom head, um, simply because I want the snare to be quite articulate. So every time I hit the drum I want the snares to be nice and crisp despite what tuning range I'm going for, okay? So let's flip it back around. And the first tuning range that I'm gonna show you today is what I call like a fat snare or a beef snare. So what I'm gonna do with my top head while the strainer is off is completely detune it first. Really taking it down. Just checking around the lugs again, looking for consistent pitch. So actually that's pretty good. So when I'm going for like the fat or beef snare, I usually use moon gel. So I'm gonna whack a ton of that on. There's loads of different products out there. You can do like O-rings. You can do things like the big fat snare drum. You can do other tried and tested methods. For instance, you could put like a wallet on there. You could put a towel on there. Just anything to dampen the drum. And all I'm gonna do is just whack a few bits of moon gel around the edge. You can experiment with where you put the moon gel around the drum. So let's engage the snare wire and see what we've got. All right, so that's sounding quite big and fat. I'm really liking that sound so far. 
and you'll notice that the snares were pretty responsive still and that's just because I really cranked the bottom head and then just adjusted the top head to taste. Sometimes I have to play around with the snare, the strainer, just to make sure the snare isn't ringing too much. To me that's quite a good sweet spot, all right? So that's how I'd go about doing the fat snare. Now if we're gonna take it up just into just a fairly low tuning, I'm gonna remove all the moon gel for now. All right, I might come back to a little bit of that in a minute. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like without the moon gel. Yeah, okay, so that's like proper wide open. So I'm just gonna go up a little bit using the same technique. Okay, that was a little bit too high. I'm just gonna knock it down a, a touch. Okay, so that is quite a low tuning. But if you're looking to get rid of quite a lot of that excessive ring, then of course your friend Moon Gel comes in handy. So I'm just gonna put like two bits I think on. I don't wanna like completely kill it like I did with the beef snare. Let's check it out. Okay, that's way more controlled. Okay, so that would be really, really suitable for just like a low tuning snare. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna check out a medium range. So as you guessed it, I'm just gonna work my way up the drum. Again, just checking it's all nice and even. So I'm starting here, going to the opposite. Two lugs along. Let's check out where we're at. So the snare wires just need um, taming a little bit. Okay, so it's really important that when you're tuning a snare, especially with no muffling on it, that you really do have it nice and even across the drum, or at least that's how I like to go about it. Because every time you get it even, the ring of the snare drum is going to be really consistent. However, if you're someone who doesn't like that ring, then you guessed it, anything to muffle it or dampen it. That's quite cool, nice tight sound. Okay, cool. And finally, we'll go for a much higher tuning. So I'm really gonna crank it now. See where we're at. And that is super, super high tuning. And again, because we've got the snare head nice and evenly tuned, that ring is just delicious and it just like rings really uh, in, in much linear way rather than warbling a lot, which is what I'm going for. So yeah, you could stick a bit of moon gel on. I don't know like how useful it's gonna be in this context. So yeah, that just kills the ring a little bit. So anyway guys, there's not really any magic about how I 
tune my snare drum. I'm just like really, um, really focused on paying close attention to the details. And hopefully that'll inspire you to want to go and check out your snares and just try and figure out how to tune it again. So I, I wouldn't rush this process, just take it nice and slowly. Of course, having a nice snare with nice drum heads will help. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of um, a believer that you can make any snare drum sound good as long as you give it a little bit of TLC. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you like the way I tune my snare, drop any tips in the comments below. Be sure to hit like, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.